The 6.5 is on the road here at the Intel corporate headquarters in Silicon Valley. Dan, we are, I'm happy to be here. I know based on that big smile, you're happy to be here. And we are talking about our favorite topic, and that is AI. And it's just been incredible the past 18 months, the conversation, AI in the data center, AI at the edge and everything in between, IaaS, PaaS, and SaaS. It's pretty exciting. Yeah, it started with this big sort of transformation going on. I think everybody that at least we know by now has played yeah. with a chat GPT or some version of it. We're seeing search being reborn, but we're seeing that expand. It's proliferating into the data center. It's proliferating onto the devices, Pat. And it's just such an exciting time. And I know it sometimes feels a little cliche, like we're talking about AI. Right. But I think what we're really talking about is the is this transition from AI is a headline to AI is changing our lives in a really meaningful way that all of us can experience. Yeah, that's right. And the latest crop of devices, right, with even AI smartphones and AI PCs has a lot of people talking. And here, I'm going to do a plug for myself here. I of like course, to do that. Never. Uh, I was on stage with Intel at CES uh, in their big announcement with all the big PC OEMs uh, that they had. And true in PCs, right, there's multiple markets to the PC market. There's the consumer market, SMB and enterprise. And one thing that's, by the way, have been in the headlines recently is the importance of PC manageability. Yep, uh, And how, how you <laughs> manage a fleet of 50,000 PCs plus without having a tremendous amount of resources uh, to do that. And I can't think of two of the best people to talk about this is Naveen and Dave from GoTo and Intel. Welcome to the 6.5, first time guests. Great to have you. Great to be here. Thanks so much. Yeah, appreciate you both uh, tuning in. You heard our, our little uh, entree here. We set you up. And I think uh, Pat's point, I mean, whether it's been, you know, challenges of keeping systems up and running and, of course, optimizing systems, I think everybody's got a little more attention on this endpoint management situation that's going on. AI is, of course, going to play a role and be an enabler. But, but Dave, you know, I'd love for you to share a little bit kind of about how are you seeing the evolution of this endpoint management uh, the trend line that we're talking about? Yeah, absolutely. And when we think about where we are, especially for the enterprise, uh, there's been an extreme transformation in terms of where we were five, 10 years ago around basic device management and everything was about uh, break, fix, remote support to where we see the world going. And at GoTo and with our customers, we're really looking towards that endpoint management and unification as a key part of enabling our customers and companies to support their employees and their devices. And, and as you mentioned, just uh, having to do that at scale across 50,000 or more devices is, is arguably a, a tremendous challenge and an opportunity, especially with the advancements in AI. Yeah, it really is. And, you know, it's funny. Um, I started in the PC industry a long, long time ago, uh, 30 plus years ago. And endpoint management was uh, exchanging floppy disks. <laughs> Uh, and then we then we evolved to, to CD-ROMs, and it literally you would go from PC to PC, uh, IT uh, to manage everything. And the the what we can do today is is incredible. Uh, where you know a little bit in the run up, I said this, but you can manage fifty thousand PCs. You can see what's happening. Uh, you can do predictive and proactive type uh, of support. You can change files in and out, uh, un you know untended. You can actually uh, do updates. Uh, as, as, as well. So it, it certainly has evolved, but uh, with AI, of course, AI changes everything. And I think this is a great question for Naveen, like where does AI and endpoint management uh, intersect? What are some of the innovations uh, that you see uh, either here now or on the horizon? Yeah, you know, w with uh, AI coming into the enterprise, uh, so much of what we've seen has actually been focused on like content creation and productivity, but applying that same AI technology to IT, automating their workflows, delivering a better employee experience. A lot of what we see on the horizon is how you take the data off the device, the telemetry, and deliver insights back into IT so that you're no, no longer in these manual workflows of trying to fix a device. 
that the device is signaling its health and remediation begins to become automated on that device so that you're constantly in this healthy device cycle rather than in this reactive state where you're trying to sort through what the issues are, root cause them, get the data in order to remediate what you see on that device. So it's a real data game, man. I mean, yeah. it's, uh, it seems like, I mean, that's where everything is going. So right. of course it would, it would apply to endpoint management too. That's right. Yeah, and, and Noveen, they've, uh, it, you, Intel's been very focused on this for some time. Some of the innovations, uh, you know, vPro and helping commercial enterprises being able to do more. I know when, when there was a certain, you know, issue with a security vulnerability and there's, you know, the, the whole fix was running machine to machine. And, you know, Pat and I talked on one of our 6.5 shows and we said, you know, there's been technology for a long time that could have, right. <laughs> you know, that could have helped the situation. And so, you know, we won't get into details. That's not important right now of, of that particular case. But yeah. companies like Intel have been trying to solve this problem for for some time. I mean, Dave, when it comes to AI PC, though, because, you know, heard me just say it, like, yeah. this isn't totally new. Like, how is AI going to contribute to evolving this and making this more available to everyone, democratizing this? And, of course, making sure companies take advantage of the technologies that both of your enterprises are building. Yeah, absolutely. And, and when we think about uh, what Naveen hit on in terms of uh, the, the power of data, it's the volume as well. And when we think about what AI brings to the table, it really allows things to get much more proactive and real time. And I think that's one of the most interesting things that are, is on the table as we look at where we're going to go moving forward, because IT is going to be on a new um a precipice in terms of having to manage not just that end user experience, but they're going to have to deal with a lot of the security issues and threats that are out there and probably at an increasing rate. And as AI comes into the, into the picture, it's going to create and unlock tremendous opportunities to be able to do things real time, highly secure and maintain that entire user experience to keep a business up and running. Yeah, it makes perfect sense. And it is funny how, uh, occurrences that, that, that pop up give us, gives us the reminder of just how important some things are. We kind of forget about some of these uh, technologies, uh, you know, if we're in a bind or something like that. And this is just a great reminder of, of why endpoint management is, is critical and then finding the right technologies, the right PC platforms uh, and, and the right, you know, semiconductors uh, that, that go along with that. So, it's funny with AI, we're talking a lot in terms of um, sometimes we talk theoretically, like like what could happen, right? Uh, what's here right now that you can get benefit from right now. So I have to, you know, Vian, you're right in the middle of products and platforms. I know you both are talking uh, to enterprises, but when is the right time? You know, enterprise purchase behavior is uh, we put a checklist of what we want for a next purchase cycle. Uh, you know, it literally is a checklist. And uh, sh why should AI PCs be in there? Is it because they're deriving value now? Or is this more like, you know, hey, in four to five years, if you believe this is going to be a real thing, because this is how long you keep your PCs, you need to, you need to be doing those today. Mm -hmm. It's both, right? Because you want to make sure that your PC fleet in that four or five year time frame can take advantage of a lot of of the new software capabilities that are getting landed on that device. But even just now, we're seeing a lot more of these AI models being run locally on that device, taking advantage of the MPU that's now part of the core platform. Uh, so it's the hardware component, the models that get landed that deliver those use cases for IT, as we talked about sort of the uh, digital employee experience type use cases, um, automating the workflows, but then they have the software component to it as well. So it's how we work together as a hardware vendor and a, a software platform with ISVs in the market to deliver that, that capability as a full solution, right? So that happens today and is going to get better throughout the life cycle of that device. Yeah, I like, I like that you said that though too, because I think these partnerships and, you know, killer applications, and by the way, you know, for 
depending if it's consumer, commercial, enterprise, there are different applications that are really going to drive this. But keeping your teams up and running, keeping them connected, obviously some of the great advantages of being able to have data local and secure and then having things go to the cloud as needed. There's a lot of power considerations. There's all kinds of reasons right now to do it. And so, so Naveen, I want you to kind of double click on that. You started sort of you know, you started to insinuate like the roles, right? You've got IT managers, you've got, you know, leaders, directors, VPs, you've got CISOs. So you've got security angles, you've got CIOs. They're all in this, in this consideration phase around AIPCs. They're kind of trying to demarcate between what is real, what is kind of future. Because I, I won't call it hype. I think everything's going to happen. But like, do I buy now? Do I wait for the next generation? Kind of, what are the things that you are suggesting and your partners are suggesting in that consideration phase to say, hey, it's time to go to the AIPC platform? Mm -hmm. Right, and and as part of that, I think the time really is now. You're you're seeing some of those use cases land on that device. Um, you know, when we think about like unified endpoint management. You're seeing a lot more automation with uh, unified endpoint management that takes advantage of that, you know, MPU on that device. And so, uh, the way we th we see it is drive efficiency into the um, the enterprise into IT. And so, you want to begin doing that now. As we talked about some of the events that we've seen over the last few weeks, right? You want to be prepared. Uh, for events like that. And that means, um, you know, enrolling those devices in your environment, taking advantage of those use cases versus waiting until they're out, um, you know, more broadly um, to drive that efficiency into the enterprise. Makes sense. And, and Dave, you know, as we sort of wrap up, I'm, I'm, I'm interested to sort of have you expound, expand a little bit upon, you know, what Naveen just said. You're having a lot, you, you lead enterprise Kind of what is the, the sell on, sell in, the point of excitement that you're creating to drive them to want to move to this AIPC? Sure. Yeah, yeah. So today, a lot of our customers, we're working with them to, to do exactly what you said, support their machines, keep them up and running and avoid some of the outages and disruptions or cyber events that, that uh, companies are dealing with every day. As we look to bring AIPCs into the environment, IT has to be prepared for that and they have to transform along with that shift. So it's gonna be essential for partnerships like GoTo and Intel to work together to make sure that the devices and the software are interoperable and it allows us to do great things with uh, technology that's out there in the realm today. And I think IT really needs to think about being ready for how this is going to change their world over the over the coming uh, years, because I think that's going to be one of the biggest factors that's, that's going to unlock opportunities for IT to do more, because you're going to have AI in place doing real-time uh, analysis and, and automation to do some self-healing self and, and take care of the machines. It's going to transform what IT is focused on to allow them to focus on uh, managing large fleets of machines and staying on top of it to run business. And then it bring, brings it right back to keeping the, the users up and running and allowing business to, to continue moving on. Well, Dave, Naveen, I want to thank you both. Very interesting topic. Love to chat more. Pat and I will be watching very closely as this AIPC trend enters the market. We're going to be watching the units. We're going to be listening and hearing from, of course, the partners, the ecosystem, the customers. And I'm sure we'll be talking to you and or your companies very soon. Great. Thanks for having us. Thank, Thank you. you. And thanks, everyone, for tuning into this episode of the 6.5 on the Road. We're here at Intel headquarters. We're talking AI, in this case, endpoint management, and more about PCs entering the enterprise during the AI era. Stick with us for more. Subscribe. We appreciate you being part of our community. Bye-bye.